Hi, I'm Dr. George Parada, Medical Advisor for the National Pest Management Association. Today I'd like to discuss ants and the risks they pose to humans. Ants are not usually associated with serious health concerns, but one ant species, the red imported fire ant, does indeed pose a rather painful risk to humans. Red imported fire ants are an invasive species. They were first found in Alabama in 1930 after they were brought into the country on cargo ships arriving from their native South America. Without natural predators in the U.S., the invasive species has thrived and expanded into at least 14 southern states. The small, reddish-brown ants are often found in landscaped areas, garages, and near structural foundations. They build mound-like nests that can contain up to 250,000 ants. Red imported fire ants get their name from their ability to inflict painful stings. People are often stung when they unknowingly stumble upon a nest. While one sting is painful, it is not uncommon to receive numerous stings simultaneously when ants swarm out of their nests to attack a perceived intruder. Each ant can sting repeatedly and will bite and hold on with its mandibles or jaws. Since fire ants hold on with their mandibles, they often have to be pulled off individually and are not easily brushed off when they are stinging. In addition to the pain caused by the stings, some people have allergic reactions. If you are stung by a fire ant, there will be an immediate burning sensation at the sting site. Typically, a raised red welt will develop within 20 minutes. The welt will turn into a white pustule within 24 hours, accompanied by an intense itching that may persist for several days. If the pustules are broken, a secondary infection can occur. Large local reactions may also occur in some individuals, where an itching, hardened reddish swelling develops several hours after the sting and persists for 24 to 72 hours and may affect the entire extremity. Significant allergic reactions can also occur and include hives, itching and swelling, nausea, vomiting or diarrhea, and difficulty breathing or swallowing. An even more severe allergic reaction, anaphylaxis, can occur minutes to hours after the sting. Symptoms of anaphylaxis may include the symptoms previously mentioned, as well as dizziness, a sharp drop in blood pressure, unconsciousness, or cardiac arrest. Fire ant stings do not typically require medical attention. Gently clean the area with soap and water and do not break the blister. If it is accidentally opened, be careful to keep it clean to avoid infection. Topical corticosteroid ointments and oral antihistamines may be used to relieve itching associated with these reactions. If you display signs of a large local reaction or allergic reaction, seek medical attention. Antihistamines and corticosteroids are sometimes prescribed to lessen the discomfort of large reactions. And please remember, if you have fire ant nests around your property, don't attempt to handle them on your own. Avoid getting stung and contact a qualified pest professional to safely eliminate the infestation. Thanks for watching this episode of Health Checks. That's all the time we have for today. For more information on fire ants, visit pestworld.org.